Hi everyone, this is a training tutorial on how to use Talos Business Connect cell phone app. I would highly recommend everyone to use this app whether or not you have company cell phone. It is very easy to use. Okay, so in the bottom of your screen, you will see all the features of the app and on top left corner where you see profile picture, that's where you have all the settings. Let's start with the features. Everyone who is part of Talos Business Connect mobile version, they will have calling feature and text feature. If you have voice plus plan, you will have calling features and fax feature. And if you have enhanced or complete version, you will have calling, text, fax, and conferencing features. Okay, so let's start with messaging option here. If you select messages, you will be able to this is very similar to teams where you can chat with your colleagues you can create different teams you can share documents with your teams okay so if you select this plus sign you can send a new message create a team second option is video conferencing if you select there you can start schedule or join a conference call video conference call where you can invite up to 100 users and during this video conferencing, you can share your screen, record the session, um, and uh, there is a remote control feature as well. Most important feature, phone. As soon as you select phone, here you will have a dial pad come up. And here in the bottom of the screen, you can see from where you can select which phone number you would like to call out from so you can either select your direct number you can select main company number select block as well or if you have a toll-free number that will show up here as well if you need to call out to anyone uh, uh, anyone within the organization you just have to type first couple of digits of that person's name and you can call your colleague from here if you are making any calls within US or Canada, you just have to enter 10 digit phone number. No need to press one or number nine before, uh, before entering actual phone number. This is what your active screen looks like. You have option to put yourself on mute, use the dial pad to enter extension, use the speaker um, if you press this plus sign for add you can add someone to a conference call if you press hold the customer will hear hold music and if you press more the screen will look like this you have the option to transfer the call to your colleagues or anywhere outside the organization uh, you have option to switch to carrier that means if your call quality is not consistent if you are having really poor um, uh, Wi-Fi you can just change your communication to carrier so you can get consistent call quality you have the option to press record while in the middle of the conversation so from that point on customer or the person who is on the other side they will hear a message saying that this call will be recorded uh, and that conversation will be recorded okay if you do have park location feature where uh, you have company-wide hold feature you can press park and put a call to park as well okay now i will show you how to use the settings if you select the profile picture on your top left corner you will have options so first option where you can see my status is right now available say i'm in a meeting i don't want to get a call I can simply change my status to be do not disturb. If I do that, all my calls will go directly to message. And when I'm available, I can change it again to be available. Okay, so it's as easy as that. Say you are, uh, you are on a uh, vacation for a week and you forgot to change your uh, uh, custom message. You simply select forward all calls message uh, option Select this option to record and hit this red button and you can create your custom greeting. You can say, I'm away from this date to this date. Please press this to reach this person, you know, your custom message. And you can also specify start and end date. So if you select a date for 23rd and that's it, in that case, 
your custom greeting. It will stop on January 31st at 9 p.m. If you would like to forward your calls to your colleagues, select option for coworker, coworker and select the name of your coworker who, to whom you should forward your calls and you can schedule it as well. You also have option to transfer calls or forward them to external number, to different announcement, to a queue or an IVR. Okay, so that's under forward all calls. Now, if you, uh, if you go to phone, that's under settings, select phone. You have three important features here. First is call handling, second is voicemail, and third is silence incoming calls. If you select call handling, you can create your custom schedule. So everyone's default might be 24 hours. If you prefer your custom schedule, you can select custom, you can decide date, uh, you can decide uh, your start time and time and dates and in that case automatically you will get calls during office hours and after hours they'll go directly to voicemail you also have options to select how you answer your individual uh, direct calls so you can decide them whether it should be all at once or in order where you should get the calls, whether first it should be received to the app or desk phone, number of rings. If you'd like to forward them to your cell phone or a different phone number, you can add number, you can add say cell phone, my cell phone, and you can enter the phone number and you can decide number of rings. Okay, so that is under call handling. Second option is voicemail everyone will have their default voicemail greeting set up it will say your call has been forwarded to the voicemail for and it will pronounce your first and last name whatever is listed to the system uh, if you would like to record it uh, record a custom greeting you simply select custom record new greeting if you hit this red button you can record your custom greeting this will be a permanent greeting uh, for your voice message okay and third option, which is silence incoming calls. If you select this, you uh, all your incoming calls, they won't ring to this app. So for example, you would like to get your calls on your desk, uh, desktop app, but not on your cell phone app. You can simply silence incoming calls. What you can also do is say uh, your calls are silenced, but you are, uh, you are, you need to make an errand. What you can do is just simply uncheck this so if you are expecting a call you can answer that and once you are back and you don't need to answer them from your cell phone app you simply silence it again okay so that was under profile picture under phone you can silence or check that on or off depending upon how you prefer to answer your calls